Yo, what's up guys, my name is DDoc2000 here, and, uh, if you hear something in the background, well, that's probably my brother listening to something, probably Battlefield Hardline, or something like that. But today, you guys, I am about to show you a jumping tutorial. Now, this is gonna be one of many jumps, this one will be straight up, but if you guys want, like, a run-then-jump tutorial, I will then do that as well. And I've also gotten a recent message that my intro sucks. Yes, it, it does suck. That was when I, like, just started the Minimator. But I will be making a new one soon, and it will be better. And for the request of a walking animation, that will be out very, very soon. I just need to know what you want me to send it through. Would you like it on YouTube, or would you like it sent to you on, like, something else? So, anyways, let's get right into this tutorial. So, first of all, you're going to want to open up at least everything because um, if you don't do that then you don't have quick access to any of the body parts that you're going to want to click and a lot of these will be used and uh, so basically you're going to start out at him being like this and you're going to want him to slowly go downward and I know what you're thinking why would you have him go downward and his legs are like that well that's when you're going ahead and you're going to have to go like this, I think. Yeah, like that. And if you want, you can either add like this, or you can also have it like this. It doesn't matter which way you do it. You could, you can even have your legs like this. It, but it, it, honestly, there's multiple ways you can do it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way right for right now. And so let's get started with the upper body. And since in real life, you want to kind of duck downward so that way you can get enough height. So you're going to want to duck. And then you're going to want to bend your arms. And you can also add a little bit of uh, length to it. If you want, like, you can change the size. And if you want to make him look straight up or look straight down, it doesn't matter. I'm going to make him look like that. And now you're going to want to look at what that looks like. And if it's not fast enough for you, I think it's perfect because I don't like... I don't. I, it doesn't really matter. Um, you want to change the speed to how you want it. And once that is complete, you're... This is actually one of the most basic tutorials... Um, for Minimator there is, because Minimator is one of the easiest softwares you can use. And right now you're going to want to have his legs straight down. And don't worry about it going into the ground, you guys. We're going to be pushing him upward like this. And if, if you like to, you can just add like a little bit of motion swing to your legs. I will be also adding gravity uh, motion effect tutorial uh later but that's not what we're talking about we're gonna add like this and you can have his arms like down like that or you can have them straight up it all depends on what you guys think because remember this is your this is your ideas put into this tutorial and if you don't want him just jumping up that high, you can make him jump higher, it doesn't matter, you can make him jump, like, super high, like, Titanfall style, so, heck, you can make him go flying, like, watch this, but then you just gotta lengthen it a little bit to make it more realistic, that's, like, moon base style, and now, I bet you're thinking, he doesn't straighten his legs, like, he's jumping right up, it looks like it's like magic. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him back to Earth because that just doesn't look right. <laughs> now if you want it to look a little bit realistic, um, such as straightening his legs to push him upward, or if that looks good enough, it doesn't matter to you. It doesn't matter to me what you choose to do. It all matters to what you think is the right. But if you don't like his legs being not straight at the beginning, you can go ahead, you can add another part of the animation where his legs are right, so right there, 
I don't want to bling that like that. I could be doing this wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. I, like, I do know what I'm doing. It's just I haven't done it this way before. I've done it more complicated. And I don't want to make it complicated for you guys. Because my complication in my eyes is just terrible. I'm in recording, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was worried I wasn't even recording. That was crazy. So once that's done, you're going to want to raise it to whatever point you want. And that is your jump right there. That is your jump down. And if you want to check that out in uh, the shader, go ahead and check that out. Now, once again, if this looks too fast for you, go ahead and lengthen it a bit. And if this looks too quick as well, go ahead and just short, like, lengthen that as well. And there you go. Now, the reason why it's slow is because my computer is actually a laptop and it's not a gaming one, so it doesn't have that good of uh, FPS, so shading of shaders doesn't work very well on mine. For some reason, it does not one of my animations, but eh. So there you go. That's your jumping animation. Eh, that just looks too slow. Looks too slow. Looks too slow. There you go. And if you want me to do the drop, I'm going to do that right now. Remember, your arms don't want to go... Yeah, actually, let me put your head down if you want that. Like, your arms don't go all the way down, seeing as how you want a little bit of a swing in your arms. And push that leg out. And I've been messing this up because I need to do this. Make sure you can see all your things, or else you might mess up a little bit, and you don't want that. And once you land, you're going to want to go ahead and add a little bit of swing to it. A little bit of swing, a little bit of swing. Also bend his elbows, because he might not work as well as you want it. Lengthen that a bit. Okay, my brother is watching something crazy. Um, no, that doesn't look right. That needs to be faster. That's why. Oh, that's why it's not. Right. It needs to be faster. Don't worry, guys. I am professional. <laughs> Remember, the reason why it doesn't look right is because it's not done yet. So let's add a little bit more to it. And you're going to want to bend the knees. Lower the body. Swing the arms. Bend the back. And your foot can be inside the ground a lot because you want it. it's not always not going to go into the ground. I can see why the arms don't look right here. They need to stay up a little bit. Oh my god, what is my brother watching this? What's like PewDiePie or something? Oh and then to lift himself up, you're going to push his body upward, but make sure his legs are straight. 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 I'm always about the straight. <laughs> And once you've done that, and there we go, you got your jump, uh, well, sort of,
There we go. You got your jump animation. Yippee! <laughs> I don't know, that's what that reminds me of. But anyways, guys, there you go. You got your little jump animation. And if you don't think this is complicated enough, don't worry about it. It's This is one of the le least complicated kind of jumps for my animator. And if you do think it's complicated, you're going to need some practice with my animator. It's just a little bit more because it can be a lot more complicated than this. Trust me, if you see my running or walking animation, there's more complicated than that. So, I will um, leave a link in the description for those animations as well, um, like tutorials, and uh, stay tuned for my animations, so you can go ahead and watch that. I will leave some behind the scenes where I show you a bit of, what, of when I was recording my tutorials on making the animation, and also the steps that I took, and how many frames I have. Now, this is actually a really good frame, like, a lot of, that's not uh, too many frames, it's about either, it's either 20, or it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, wait, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, what? Oh yeah, 7. Okay, so, that's about, I don't know, 7 times 20 equals for 140, I don't know. I'm not gonna math. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, this is the end of the animation, so I'm just gonna save it, and you guys can go ahead and do whatever you want with this. And if you want a PMH or PHA, or what's it called? PNG file, go ahead and leave the comment down below, and if you enjoy these tutorials, go ahead and ask me for another tutorial, because I can do that for you, and if you want tutorials on how to get uh, things into a schematic file, go ahead and leave a comment down below asking for that, and I will be back in a couple of days, or maybe even tomorrow, who knows, but I'm going for a sleepover, so peace out, stay on, stay high, <laughs> stay on rainbows, stay high on rainbows, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, and yippoo! Goodbye. Brrr.